if you're going to have a court appearance uh, on Zoom, please think about things like the background, uh, the lighting, uh, the bandwidth, you know, your attire. Uh, I think, you know, proper decorum is still required even though we're appearing uh, remotely. And, and again, do a test run beforehand to try to avoid having technical problems during the, um, during the hearing. Uh, try to be patient with each other. Uh, one other thing I want to uh, encourage people to do, I'm encouraging the judges, I would encourage the lawyers as well, start getting things back on the calendar as we're able to, because most hearings were canceled for that first two or three week period, you know, beginning in mid-March. And so that's going to result in a pretty big backlog when we get back up to speed and we have to accommodate not, not only the newly filed cases, but also the ones that have been adjourned or continued. So now that we've got the Zoom, we're able to handle uh, an, an ever-increasing number of cases. So if you've got cases you've been waiting to file or waiting to get on for a hearing, I think about trying to get that rolling in the next couple of weeks rather than the next several months so we don't have this huge uh, snowball effect and, and potential gridlock down the road. Right. Judge Koshnick, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Okay. You're welcome. Anytime, Joe. Thank you.